organization can be quite important in Stardew Valley, especially late game. The game offers multiple ways to assist with this, such as chests and plenty of space to place these chests or machines, such as inside the house upgrades and inside the coupon barns. Here are some great organizational tips to all Stardew Valley players. Hey guys, it's your girl Foss and welcome back to another Stardew Valley video. One important organization tip is having your chests and machines easily accessible. You can pretty much place your chests and machines all over Stardew Valley, whether that's the beach south of Pelican Town or by the mines in the mountains. You can also utilize the space inside the coops and barns for machines such as mayo machines and cheese presses. This is one way to utilize space and to have better organization. However, a building that remains probably the best building to utilize for your farm's organizations are sheds. Utilizing your space on your farm can be quite important and sheds can definitely assist in that. Not only will fully upgrading them give you a 17 by 12 space, meaning you can place so many items within them, but it'll also mean you get to utilize your farm a little bit more, putting down more coops, more bombs, or even more crops there. Today's video will break down different shed organization tips to assist in storing your farm's resources effectively. For only 15,000 gold and 300 wood, you can upgrade your 7x3 space on your farm to an 11x9 interior spacing of the shed, which is a 99 space compared to 21 spacing on your farm. I place everything in there and I believe most, if not all, chests and machines should be placed indoors. Oh, and before I get into these organization tips, these shed ideas are in sheds that have been upgraded once, which will cost you 20,000 gold, 550 wood and 300 stone. Upgrades aren't necessary and here is a shed idea if you plan to keep the shed like this. I was able to fit 22 storage chests in here. To better identify what is in that chest, signs were placed behind the chest with an item that reflects what is in the chest. So if a chest is filled with resources such as wood, place a piece of wood on the sign behind the chest to identify that this chest has resources. But if you want something more classier, you can use tables the same way as signs by placing an item on the table. Unfortunately, this way will take that item out of your inventory to place it on the table. However, the signs won't remove anything from your inventory. I tend to organize my chests with commonality and that can be seen under the name of all the items such as foragers saying that they are foragers and resources saying that they're resources. What's really cool about sheds is not only can you change the flooring and walls but you can place flooring that is used outside within them. In this shed I decided to mix and match the flooring to add some funk within the shed. This is another way to separate certain sheds from each other if the aesthetics of the interior might assist with that. So here's my first shed idea which is just considered a mixed shed idea. Idea. The first row is used for sheds with signs that tell me what are inside and then the rows behind that are for your machines. This is great to ensure I can store all my items in one place and to use any of the machines after my collection from the morning or the night. You can include any machines and swap them in and out such as cheese presses and mayo machines to make this a one-stop shop for your farm. My second shed idea is to maximize the space within the shed and to place as many machines as I can. There are definitely some machines that should be utilized by having more of them rather than less of them. Machines such as kegs, preserve jars and crystallariums really do benefit your playthrough when you have a bunch placed down. Using this layout assists in making every machine accessible to the character whilst also filling up the shed. This is my desired layout for machine filled sheds in all of my playthroughs so definitely consider this layout for your machines. Oh and you can replace the machines at any time as well. You can mix it up with different machines having a mixture of crystallariums with furnaces or mayo machines with your preserve jars. A third shed layout is utilizing your chests and machines in a simpler pattern. You can create this circular pattern with your items and place a sign in the middle of these patterns as a preference idea to organize your sheds a little more swanky. This is a great idea to swap in if the first shed layer is a layout that you've used for quite some time. Why not organize your items in this format? I place a circular pattern of the chest or machines while keeping a spare walking space in between them to access them more. And I also have some space for some seats and a TV. Doesn't this look really cute? This layout is not only pretty to look at but is considered simple as each each little section is designated for a certain process. Not only do I really like the simplicity of the cube idea, but here is a shed idea that was shown before but not talked about. It is also considered a simple shed idea that I like, but it separates your chest on either side while showcasing the machines in the middle. This shed is a fun idea beside having all your chests together and all your machines together. This also allows spacing for furniture and flooring pieces to be placed. The fourth layout idea that I have is more aesthetically presented than utilized, but this is a coffee and a t-shirt that I have for one of my wilderness farm designs. 
You can check my video out on a layout idea here in the annotations and in the description below if this is a farm that you've selected. As garden plots are able to be placed anywhere on Stardew Valley and indoors, you can build yourself a shed that almost acts as a greenhouse. Coffee beans were used here not only to sell but to make coffees which is definitely a recommended drink when exploring the skull cavern. Tea leaves were also planted which is a Caroline Two Heart recipe to craft. You can brew green tea using the tea leaves in a keg and this will increase a character's mix energy you for some time or you can place them in a preserved jar instead to sell them for 150 gold each. The only downside of this shed layout is I use bee grows which means the crops will need to be watered. Now any fertilizer can be used in garden plots and my final organization idea is turning your shed into a greenhouse. With the 1.5 update deluxe retaining soil is a recipe bought from the island trader for 50 cinder shards. You can either farm these in the volcano or you can have them randomly dropped with a full pond of stingrays. Get your hands on these you can fill a shed full of 137 garden plots with deluxe retaining soil and have your crops watered daily meaning you can grow crops indoors without the hassle of having to remember to water them although you will need to water your crops on their first plant to keep the soil watered for the lifespan of that crop as deluxe retaining soil has a 100% chance to keep your crops watered if you cannot get your hands on these retaining soils and will prefer to use any other fertilizer be sure to have the shed close to a pond or build a simple well close by to water them you can also remove the column of the garden plots on the far sides of the sheds to create a walking space to water them efficiently. Having multiple sheds should have no limitation as sheds should definitely be on your agenda to build. Although you can color your sheds to distinguish between them in the 1.5 update. For example if you have a shed full of kegs to make wines why not also place a keg outside so when the keg is complete you know that all the kegs within that shed is ready to harvest. This can happen with any shed that you fill with machines especially those that produce your items. Or you can keep it simple and place your signs outside of your shed to identify that shed just like you would with your chests. Now have you placed on a shed but you've already organized all your other sheds so you're not sure what to do with this spare shed? Why not create a relaxing space within them? Inspired by many creations that I found online you can turn your shed into a library or better yet turn it into a cafe or a pub. The possibilities are endless so don't hesitate to let your mind explore into other creations within your shed. Definitely tell me which layout idea that you like down in the description and if you want to catch me live I'm on twitch.tv forward slash Fazerino. I will see you next time guys. Take care.